Now, Google accounts are effectively governed by DNS or domain names. And so if you've got a workspace account and you're locked out, you need to get access or you've, the only way in is through DNS because effectively Google needs to verify who you are and get you access to the account. That's basically the only way to do it. So this person asks, how is it possible to get access to my Google Workspace account using DNS? The company I work for no longer exists and my Gmail will not receive any emails. I do not have access to a Google administrator account. As we say in Australia, you might be up shit creek there, but I'm curious, is it possible to get access to that domain name? If the domain name has been deregistered, can you re-register it or can you contact the owners of the domain name? If you've been locked out of a Google account and the Google Workspace account is not accessible by you or you know the admin account is not accessible by you, the only way to get access to that account is through an admin. So there either needs to be an active administrator of that Google Workspace account or you need to become an active administrator by using the domain name. Now, Google accounts are effectively governed by DNS or domain names. And so if you've got a workspace account and you're locked out, you need to get access or you've, the only way in is through DNS because effectively Google needs to verify who you are and get you access to the account. That's basically the only way to do it. Now, when you have access to the domain name, even if you were not the administrator originally, you can get access to the account because having access to the domain name and full control of the domain name gives you the ability to reset the super administrator's password. Now, that's why it's very important for you to protect your domain names as well as your email passwords because if someone gets access to your domain name, well, they can pretty easily reset the super administrator password to your Google Workspace account. So you've got to be careful to lock those down. Now, there is one caveat to all of this. There is one little other sneaky way that you can get in. If you work with a partner like IT Genius and we are managing your billing, then you can get access to your account in one of these scenarios where you've been locked out of the super admin account, you can't get access, maybe you don't have access to your DNS as well. The reseller will always have access to the back end of the account. So it's possible that you can get access through a reseller. Now. If you're in the situation where a business is in a liquidation, need to get access to a Google account, but maybe domain name doesn't exist anymore. I don't personally know the process, but it's possible that you could work with liquidators, insolvency lawyers, or anyone who's got access to some of the accounts and then work with Google support to get access to an account again. But fundamentally, Google want you to verify that you own a domain name before they're gonna give you access to a workspace account. And so that's pretty much the only way in, which is getting access to a domain name and therefore the DNS settings. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.